<laughs> so this is day 10 for me. Oh my god. Day what for you? Day 3? Is that right? It's Monday I got here on Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Let's talk about, uh, where did we just, fuck, I'm so tired. Where did we just come from? <laughs> um, yeah, so now we're in Williamson, like, at the heart of cold country, yeah. Trump country. Yeah, just across from the Kentucky border. The, the presenter of the people presenting me, huh? No, the director of the... <laughs> <laughs> Jim, who works for Jim. the Williamson Art Brigade, which they founded like a couple years ago, and they're also trying to revitalize everything here through the arts. And he's been like super proactive mm. about me coming and has been like really wonderful about setting everything up, yeah. letting us stay in this Hatfield and McCoy Inn, yep. which is lovely. Um, so, yeah, we're gonna go meet him for lunch right now. It's gonna be great. For Miners to file workers comp claims. Yes. Mm -hmm. Man. I know. <laughs> it's all so great. My name is Jim Padgerillo. <laughs> I'm a practicing attorney in Williamson, West Virginia. I'm a first generation Filipino American. My family settled in Williamson in 1978. Uh, my dad decided to leave the Air Force and set up um, a pediatrics practice in Williamson, West Virginia. The Williamson, West Virginia of my childhood was actually thriving economically. The coal industry was booming. We had steady growth in population. We actually had a diverse community thanks to foreign-born medical professionals uh, who settled in West Virginia and Williamson in the early 80s. We also had a strong arts council. Uh, my family was very involved in the arts, so I was always going to shows as a kid and meeting visiting performers. In fact, my mother helped promote a classical piano concert with the Filipino pianist Cecile Lucad in the mid 80s. So the opportunity to promote and present uh, Miki Sawada was kind of a, a, a nice way to follow in her footsteps. I think this is a meth lab. Maybe. That's very possible. The coal industry has collapsed and so has our local economy. And we're really at a tipping point of trying to find another industry or another uh, way to keep our town going. Our area has been fighting the, uh, the opioid crisis uh, and drug addiction uh, going on 20 years now. You see the uh, a nearly empty downtown as far as retail goes. Uh, you see empty storefronts and uh, you see politics that may not necessarily be welcoming to an outsider. And uh, you know, it's difficult to explain, you know, where the optimism comes from sometimes. Yeah. 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 Mickey Sawada, so she's going to be performing tonight, okay. actually. So it's a free event for everybody. Uh -huh. So cool. try to encourage the arts. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. I think I need to use these lights. Cool. Um, why did you open this place? I just wanted to bring some, some music and stuff back to the town. The town used to be full of music. Oh, yeah. There used to be tons of, like, all down the street. There was places to, to go and watch a show and yeah. things to do. And just now it's kind of done. There ain't much here no more. So we figured we'd try to, try to bring something back. Did you ever think there'd be classical piano in here? Probably not, huh? <laughs> I don't know if we first saw it. Yeah, we don't care what. That's <laughs> awesome. So the Art Brigade, it grew out of a want to bring the arts to Williamson and to our Tug Valley region. Yeah. Um, for so long we felt like the arts were present here but just kind of ignored. Mm. People, it was things they maybe done at home, playing music or painting, right. woodworking, whatever. And we have such a talented group of people in our community. Mm. We wanted to be able to not only showcase our own local talent, right. but bring new life into the city with right. classical pianists and <laughs> right. concerts and movie shows and performances. So that's really what we were trying to do was just answer a need in our mm. community right. to liven it up with some arts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and anything that shows that your town has passion, I mean, people want to be around that. People yeah. gravitate yeah. to that. Yeah. And, you know, if it's not even just to live, but just to visit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And if they know the things that we've got some artsy, weird things going on in Williamson, people will come. Right. People yeah. will come. Yeah. yeah.
And how long have you lived here? Since January. Oh, you recently mm -hmm. have, uh, moved here. Where were you before? Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, not too far. And what made you move here? Was it the job? Yeah, I grew up ori originally from West Virginia, oh, okay. and I lived away for about seven years. I'm also a Northwestern grad. Oh, CUR. yeah, Wildcats. And uh, I felt like um, it was really important to work as a journalist at some point in West Virginia, and I had never done that, mm -hmm. really. And so that's why I'm here. Um, what's your favorite thing about your job? I think radio is a really powerful medium. You can hear the expression in people's voices, you can hear the emotion in people's voices, unlike, uh, it just gives, gives life to a story in a way that I think print doesn't always. Yeah, through sound. Through sound. have you been playing piano? Um, I started playing piano at five years old. Five years old, yeah. Wow, that's about when I started. But I'm much older than you. <laughs> <laughs> and so, do you want to share a little something? Yeah. <laughs> so Christine, what, did, what was the recital you just did? Um, the last weekend, I, uh, before I'm at the KMTA um, State Honors Recital in Kentucky, wow. um, I was recommended by a judge to play at the recital held in Campbellsville, Kentucky. So it's about an hour from Lexington, so that's where I went. That's amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> How was the recital? It's, it's, it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> what did you play on it? Um, I played uh, Claude Debussy's Dr. Gratis and Partisan. Yeah. It's from his children's suites. Yeah, that's such a good piece. I love that piece. <laughs> it took me about six months to learn. So yeah, I hear you. That takes, <laughs> yeah. that's about how long it takes for me to learn anything. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I've never gotten to sit here. Did you have a favorite part of tonight? Um, all of it. But I really liked the part um, where you let the girl play. Christine, all yeah. Because all the kids were really into it and stuff, and that's, that's the best thing about it, and that's what it's all about. Then, yeah, then, uh, yeah, you lost a lot of money by letting kids in. Yeah, <laughs> but, worth it, worth but it. But I, I gained a lot of smiles. <laughs> <laughs> Thank cheers. You. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Yeah, what are you drinking? Oh, man, I want spiritual <laughs> cheers. <laughs>